Hello and welcome. This is Hike 360, and we're in New Brunswick, Canada, doing the Fundy Footpath Trail. Good morning. It's like 6.30, and we are packing up to beat the rain that is expected to rain till Most late this afternoon. About three. It's going to be a rainy day. Buckle up. You can see it. Beautiful colors. So, you know, the um, cool thing that we've talked about is that uh, we get cell connection from Nova Scotia. And so the weather, of course, is from the town in Nova Scotia. And that is getting rained upon right now. So that's why we are up as early as we are, because we thought we were, we were going to get that rain right now. I think we're about 20 minutes ahead of it. So we're going to quickly eat some breakfast and get the tent all squared away and get on for the day. Be on the road. Yeah. So these days are about equal in distance. It's going to take us about six, seven hours every day. Um, expect the trail to be slow and slippery and roots steep, steep, you know, all the stuff that makes it enjoyable. But the color right now is pretty excellent sleeping on the sand in the with the waves crashing was really nice uh we turned on three hours ago 6 30 on now yeah so a little more than three three and a half hours ago right before the rain and the rain has not stopped so i'm turning on now just to kind of show you the the options that you might have uh, this this situation we're in answers kind of two questions at once one is where do you go to the bathroom in the woods and the quick answer is well behind trees but sometimes sometimes there are um, some facilities in some of the parks and some of the nature areas they're not glamorous they're not much this is basically a hole in the wood <laughs> but it's something, and in this case, it was a roof to answer the second question. What do you do when it's downpouring rain? And it's been downpouring rain for three hours. We really couldn't even have turned on the, the camera before this because it was so loud. And uh, with all the layers on, the mosquitoes were not a big deal. Uh, we had a good good breakfast, right? We had some coffee and uh, my normal breakfast. So quick question, what do you normally have for breakfast? I, I don't know that we go through some of these um, logistical questions. I think we just sort of look at nature, but good time as any to go through logistical questions. So what do you like for breakfast? Uh, well, I'm kind of exploring some different dehydrated brands right now. So uh, this morning I had, I don't know, I forget the name of the brand, so I'll have to tell you in a different video, but it was oatmeal and uh, we had some Folgers instant coffee. So when I was done with, I forgot my cup. So when I was done with the oatmeal, I put the instant coffee in that bag and then poured more boiling water into it. Worked fine. Coffee in a bag. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of a shortcut. Um, for me, for breakfast, a uh, cup of coffee. I have powdered milk. Uh, oatmeal, definitely. And then uh, I like a cup of soup. So I try to get some of the Lipton's little single serving packets of soup. This is one of the benefits of this type of weather is just this beautiful color, the greens pop, the rivers run strong. The downside is we're completely soaking wet. We're slipping and sliding. Yesterday we did about a mile and a half an hour and I don't stop my watch for this with breaks. Uh, today we're doing about two kilometers an hour, which is slower. Uh, and we are not stopping aside from right now. We're about to put some water shoes to cross this because I don't see any any uh, safe passage. So rain has made this river so big, we have to cross it like a serious river. Wow, okay. Where are we? We're at Goose Creek. Goose Creek. This is uh, the second two of two of river crossings that we were warned about all right so we timed the tide appropriately the tide is in like i guess another two hours or an hour uh, i'm sorry low tide is at the lowest in about two hours so 
we're not worrying about high tide coming and capturing us from the other direction. But what do we got here? We got a lot of water. We got a lot, a lot of rainwater. I mean, this is gorgeous. It's like Alaska, or, you know, Upper Canada, but it's Lower Canada. Welcome back to our hike on the Fundy Path. We are at the Goose Creek Campground. So after that big river crossing, we hung out for lunch and it stopped raining. Uh, this is the kind of the foreground of it. The ocean is just over this hill. And uh, off in the distance in the fog is, is the creek. Apparently it's a huge river layout uh, into the Bay of Fundy. You know, the force that has been fascinating for us uh, after the huge rain, because like this, the forest is very efficient at clearing out water. And every thing that could be a stream becomes a stream. And it's really pretty neat. Now we are soaked completely. So, um, you know, we're not even trying to. Is the trail that way? Yeah. Well, what's this big building over here? Oh, this is the bio. Another UNESCO. UNESCO bio, what is it? Biosphere. Okay. All right. Yeah. So that's a biosphere uh, for measuring, watching, I assume tagging uh, some of the wildlife. I think it's just another place to poop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a river crossing. We sure do. What's your path? I'm going to go like, kind of over here. Okay, this, this rock's going to be really slippery here. Yeah. Careful at the start. I'm going to see how slippery it is. All right, so backpack is unclipped. You cross a river perpendicular to it. And uh, using a pole is a very smart idea. This trail, by the way, is a little more difficult, a little more difficult than just a pole. So I, uh, when I cross, I'm using the pole for stability. I'm not just sort of checking the depth, although I do that too, but. Don't go too deep. Go backwards. Okay, go forward. Hello, and welcome to the end of day two on the Fundy Footpath. We are about halfway finished with our mission. Um, put in like another 10 miles? I had closer to 12. Closer to 12 miles? 11, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, about 11 miles just up and down up and down that's what this trail is all about and the river crossing a river crossing we had uh several river crossings today four at the end <laughs> yeah it rained all day and um it rained all day a lot so the rivers are all the creeks are all amplified and well we Kind of had to figure that out. Do you want to talk about the first couple or just talk about this one? Well, I just want to point out on this one that the trail is across the river right at those rapids. And uh, 
That is not crossable. No. And then it comes through here by the fire pit and it goes over here. Yeah, I by the white markings. I tried to cross it really carefully at first. And when we got here to the river, there were two hikers who were saying, we're not doing this. And they were going to, I mean, there's not a lot of campsites close by either. So they were just going to start trekking back. And Oh, that was going to be a two-mile trek. Yeah. I mean, there's Backwards. not a lot of options, especially if, like, you're on the footpath and you're trying to make it all the way through. What do you do? You just, your mission failed. We'll get them next time. Um, but I wasn't really about that. So I was testing the waters right here and it came up to my, my waist, like my belly. And, uh, I had to turn around. I was like, this is not, I don't feel comfortable. I couldn't get my footing right. And, uh, I just couldn't do it. So dad and I looked further upstream and there's a, an island that kind of breaks up the, the river. Here, let me pass it to you. So there's uh, this island downstream where we were looking for some sort of shallower crossing and one way or another, and not to mention to get there, you know, we're just bushwhacking through, through the forest here. And we got down there and we found a shallowish, shallower-ish path and we were able to take it and, uh, you know, really brace ourselves during the deepest parts. And then we got to the middle of the island and then we had to cross again on the other side. So we got the second part done and the forest is way too steep on that side. So what we had to do is get back in the river and just start walking upstream. <laughs> we did that until it got too deep and then we got back into the forest and we bushwhacked our way up Cro until the trail. Through a pond. <laughs> <laughs> it was really something. Needless to say, our feet are very wet. Well, his are drying now. I got to get my boots off. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was really hard. All right. And now the mosquitoes are out. And we're just getting eaten alive, but we're going to have some dinner and we're going to make camp here and hope that tomorrow's not raining. 